Well, today I'm going to talk about why Rewire sucks. Now, you're asking, Well, I like Rewire because Rewire makes me work reason with logic. Blah, 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 blah. If your ADD is in the attention span of a gnat, then this probably won't help you and you'll be better off going to another video somewhere else. So, get out. But for you cool cats out there and you want to understand why Rewire sucks and actually listen, then I got something for you that you might find some of these tips useful. That said, let's move on and I'll show you what's going on, okay? You'll like this, trust me. outputs on this thing that's called a Roland V Studio released for like work with like Cakewalk or whatever. I found it at Pawn Shop for under 200 bucks. Really nice unit. Preamps in it are really good. I like it a lot. Probably one of the better interfaces that I've ever used. Very heavy unit. Just to really, if you ever find one, it's it's worth the extra money on this thing. And, and so that has three outputs and I also have a MIDI input. Now, I'll explain about the MIDI and what I'm doing for MIDI in just a second here. Now, you can see that the audio, each audio cable is is coming out, and they're going into the audio inputs of here. I got three stereo channels. The, the number of the channels don't really matter because Logic always messes it up anyways. I'll explain that later. This is FireWire connected into that Mac over there. Yeah, that's a Mac Pro 1.1. It's inside out. I was doing some government research on a warp gun. Let's put it this way. I found a warp gun on sale at eBay for about 700 bucks. And I went and bought it and I was like, hey, what happens if I tried it on my, my Mac Pro and, and I hit it and it basically turned it inside out. A violation in on the um, space bylaws, a hunter killer to come down and, and basically you know hunt you down if you harm anything. So don't, don't harm any animals if you find a warp gun on eBay. That, that's that's not good. That's not nice. Humans are okay because they're expendable. You can go ahead and and, and shoot humans. Um, it's it's actually a pretty sight when you shoot a human with a warp gun. <laughs> Anyways, so it's FireWire to the Mac Pro, and then I have USB going over to. You can see it way over there. There's another PC. I'm running a mini ITX board, and it has 16 gigs of RAM, i5, yeah, somewhere in there. That's it right there. And it's got a Raptor hard drive and and an SSD, so it's it's pretty it's pretty spiffy. And so same thing with this guy up here. I got two dual uh, SSDs. And the more stereo inputs you have, the better that you could do this with. It's just right now I'm only using three stereo, and it's it's fine for what I need right now. Eventually I'll get a, like a, a better interface set up here. But it gets a little pricey when you do stuff like this because you know you you need something with like you know eight stereo out and eight stereo in to actually do something decent. Now later on, I'll show you a trick where I have done this with a, an actual internal program, and it's supposedly the new Viana Ensemble Pro Six actually works with Reason, so you don't even have to use all this stuff to do this. So once I, I actually order Viana, once I get it installed, I'll, I'll talk about that. But anyways, all right, let's go to the MIDI here. So I have this keyboard. This is a Technics keyboard. It, it was an upright piano keyboard that, you know, full-size keyboard, you know, digital piano, whatever you call it. And I have one MIDI output going out of this thing. And it's going in a long wire and it comes into this guy right here, which is a I don't see it. It's a USB audio. We can see it. See the, the wire in front of it. So this USB audio. There's basically the only thing I use this for is just a MIDI interface. The the audio in this thing just sucks really bad. Uh, it's probably the, one of the worst interfaces I've ever used for audio. So if you ever find it for cheap, there's a reason why. Uh, so <laughs> it's just really bad. Now going back to the audio for this guy is really good. 
I found that, you know, now one of the things you might run into is like, you'll see them for dirt cheap and some of the channels aren't working well, it's because the, the power supply and these things will go out and all you have to really have to do is just replace the capacitors in them. And I found that that was a really easy thing to do. And, and I was able to basically fix all the channels in this. And, and so I got a really decent uh, mixer board that's digital, that does digital audio. However, there's a bug in it where the stereo channel right here doesn't work. And it's due to the drivers. The drivers, they, they just stopped supporting drivers in this thing. And so we've been able to make it work with using the drivers from a different model. So it just, it's kind of like a driver hack to make this thing work. Uh, anyhow, uh, the, the company, I don't think it's a leases anymore, a port for drivers. It's always an issue. Anyways, really nice unit. The reason why I love this unit, I'll probably never give it up. The headphone amplifier, like when I plug in it, the headphones in this thing, the sound is so clean. I've had so many different interfaces and this is one and it's loud too. I mean, it's like really strong volume. I have it barely on and it's like super loud. So that's why I love it. I mean, super clean audio and I just love this thing. Even though with all its, you know, issues and it's fireware, no one use fireware anymore, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, back on track. So we're talking about the MIDI and how I have the MIDI hooked up. And, and so what I'm doing here is, is is the Technics goes into that that audio box. And then from there, the, the input, you know, out of the Technics and to the end of the audio box. And then on the output channel of the audio box, I have another one that goes into here. And so that way I'm able to basically clone the MIDI and basically use the same MIDI on my Logic and also my PC, my Reason PC. So that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm basically I'm doing everything I can to do all my signal routing outside of the PC. I just find that I have a better control of my sound and better control of everything. And I don't have to monkey with anything. <laughs>